clean boost oil absorbent is an organic porous material which will encapsulate and solidify any petroleum or oil liquids with a natural capillary action immediately on contact. The tub on the right is filled with one pound of clean boost oil absorbent. The tub on the left with one pound of clay absorbent. We then pour one quart 30 weight motor oil into each tub. You get the same results on diesel fuel, gasoline, gear oil, hydraulic oil, waste oil, brake fluid and cutting oils. Basically any oil based liquid. We then begin to mix the oil into both products. And as you will clearly see with clean boost, the oil is immediately transformed into a fluffy, dry substance and leaves a clear, dry surface. On the clay absorbent side, the results are obvious. Most of the oil is still present. In fact, the amount of clay used to absorb most of the one quart of oil was as much as 10 pounds and still left an oily and messy residue. In this test, a flour sifter is used. One is partially filled with clean boost oil absorbent. Transmission fluid is then added. The clean boost completely absorbs the transmission fluid and quickly becomes dry and manageable. Not only does the clay barely absorb the transmission fluid, but the fluid travels quickly through the coarse clay absorbent. Water is then poured into the sifters. With the clean boost, the water is clear, with no visible sign of transmission fluid, demonstrating its non-leaching ability. The water on the clay absorbent side clearly shows the presence of transmission fluid. This would not be good for rainy conditions or field spills. You can use as much as a 50 pound bag of clay to absorb one quart of oil based fluid if the spill was on a wet surface or in rainy conditions. A similar test was conducted by an independent lab for leach ability and the results showed no detection of oil leaching once absorbed by clean boost oil absorbent. In this test, we pour motor oil on water and sprinkle clean boost on top of the oil. As you can see, clean boost immediately encapsulates and solidifies the oil out of the water with no oil residue remaining. Here we're going to demonstrate the superior performance of clean boost oil containment socks versus polypropylene containment socks in a petroleum fuel spill. They're both four feet long, but the difference is the material that's inside the sock. We'll use clean boost loose product to seal the gap on each sock to prevent any leakage. First, we pour diesel fuel into the clean boost containment sock area. We use diesel fuel to demonstrate how effective clean boost containment socks would be even on a lightly viscous petroleum spill. As you can see, 100% containment is visible with no leaking occurring, leaving a safer and cleaner environment, and thus reducing cleanup costs. Then we pour diesel fuel into the polypropylene sock area. As you can clearly see, the diesel immediately started leaking out of the containment area, thus creating a hazard and unsafe conditions, as well as increasing material cleanup costs and labor. Results after one minute clearly shows the superior performance of the clean boost containment sock, even after three quarts of diesel fuel poured. 100% containment is clearly visible versus only a half quart absorption on the polypropylene sock with almost no containment. Which oil containment sock would you use for your operation?